Stepping into the G3 binding is very easy. Confidence inspiring and simpler than any other tech binding. When you are finished touring up, all you have to do is clear, click, rotate, lock. Your toe piece should already be relatively free of snow and ice, but sometimes buildup can occur, so you always want to double check. Just take a look, either engage the toe piece in and out, or use your pole to manually clear it out using the channel beneath the toe mechanism. And just make sure that you don't have any snow in there so that your binding will be properly engaged. Ion's one of the easiest tech bindings to get in and out of. Line your toe up with the boot stop, gently press it in, there you go. Now that your toes are engaged, just lift your heel up and down, and that will get any snow that may have been built up in your tech fittings out. Next, all you need to do is engage the heel pins by stepping down into the binding, and you're good to go. You're in. So going into tour mode, similar to going into ski mode, you're going to want to make sure there's no snow buildup in, the, in or around the toe. Rotate the heel mechanism into tour mode. You can go either way because it is omnidirectional, which is handy for us left-handers. You'll notice that you can either leave the brakes engaged or clip them down. Uh, this is handy because it'll keep your ski from skiing away on you. Engage the toe mechanism, as uh, mentioned before. For tour mode, of course, you're going to make sure that you lock out your toe. You do this by grabbing the lever and engaging it all the way up. For steeper climbs, the G3 Ion has neutral first and second heel lift modes. You can easily adjust these on the fly using your pole or your hand. If you have left the brakes down, and when you do take your first stride, the brakes will lock down and off you go.